Okay, so this question here says uh, the circuit consists of four resistors in a series parallel configuration. Uh, we are to determine the total resistance, RT, the current flowing within the circuit, and the power dissipated within the circuit. So let's take on part one. So we'll say part I ask us to find uh, the total resistance. But because uh, this circuit is in a series parallel configuration, we'll have to first determine um, our series resistors or our parallel resistors, calculate uh, the resistance of the series branch or the parallel branch, and then simplify the circuit going down. So looking at this circuit here, uh, we have R1, R2, R3, and R4. Now when I look at uh, R3 and R4, I'm seeing that there's only a single path of current to flow and the resistors are connected in a chain like manner so I'm going to consider this arm of the circuit to be in series because R2, I mean R3 is connected directly to R4 in a chain like manner and when current is flowing here it only has one path to flow so I'm going to take on this as my series uh, so this is in series Alright, and we know for a series resistor, the equivalent resistance in that branch is equal to R1 plus R2. So in this case, I have two resistors, R3, which is 2 kilo ohms, and R4, which is 5 kilo ohms. So I'm going to say my equivalent resistance is equal to 2 kilo ohms plus 5 kilo ohms. Alright, and then when I take the sum of these resistors, I get a value of 7 kilo ohms. Right, so once I've done that, I can simply redraw my circuit and place in my uh, resistance, which I just found right here. So I'm going to do that right here. So And then because I just found the, total, the equivalent resistance here, I can just simply replace these two resistors with a single resistance in parallel to R2. So this is 4K ohm. This is 1K ohm. And this now will be 7K ohm. Alright, so that's my circuit redrawn with my equivalent resistance. Now... When I continue to look at my circuit here, I'm seeing that these two resistors are connected at the same node, right? So they're facing each other directly. So we can say that these two resistors are in parallel. And also it has um, two paths for current to flow. So when current, current comes right here, it flows right here and it also can flow this way. So this, let me change color, this here is um, a parallel branch. Right, so continue with our question. So since this is a, this is a parallel branch, we'll say that uh, for a parallel branch, we know that 1 upon REQ, which is the equivalent resistance in the parallel branch, is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2, because we have two resistors in this case. Uh, also, we can use this resistor, this formula, when also we can use this formula when we have uh, two or more resistors right also we can uh, use this formula R R E Q is equal to the product over the sum of the resistors so we'll say R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2 we take the product and divide it by the sum right this is when we have our uh, two resistors in this case here so we're going to use on um, the product over the sum and we'll say that uh, REQ is equal to R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2 right and we can go further uh, and then we'll have R1 
let's say this is R1 and this is R2. So R1 and R2. So R1 will be 1 kilo ohm multiplied by R2, which is 7 kilo ohm. And we divide that by the sum, which is 1 kilo ohm plus 7 kilo ohm. Right, and then when we simplify that, we get 1 times 7 is 7, and 1 plus 7 is 8. Right, so using our calculator, right, uh, first let's write that REQ so REQ is equal now to 7 divided by 8 which is the same thing as we'll use our calculator and take 7 divided by 8 we get 0 0.875 And again, this is kilo ohm. This is kilo ohm. Right, so our answer zero is kilo ohm. Right, so it means then that our resistance then now is 0 0.875 kilo ohm or 875 ohms. Now, we still have not completed um, finding the total resistance. Right, so we just found um, the resistance of this branch here, so we can simplify our circuit further. Right, so we'll redraw the circuit down here. Right, uh, we'll take our let me let me re redraw right here. So we'll take our 12 volts source. Right, we'll have a resistor in series, and then we'll have another resistor here. So again, this is our 12 volt source, right? Uh, R1 was initially 4 kilo ohms, so this is 4 kilo ohms, and the resistance that we just found is um 0 0.875 kilo ohms, right? Now, if we look at our circuit, now we say we, we realize that we just um we simplify our circuit, and now we have um two resistors in series, and for resistors in series. The total resistance again RT is equal to R1 plus R2. So we'll take R1 to be 4 kilo ohm and R2 to be 0 0.875 kilo ohms. Right, so when we take the sum of these now, we get uh, 4.875 kilo ohm. So RT then, RT is equal to. 4.875 kilo ohms so that's our total resistance uh, from part one so we've just found part one now we're going to move on to part two so part two wants us to find the current flowing so we can say let me just scroll down here so this is part two right and we want to find the current flowing now, to find the current flowing, given the resistance of the circuit and the voltage of the circuit, we can use Ohm's law, right, which is given by the formula. So, we're going to take Ohm's law, and the formula for Ohm's law is V is equal to I times R, right, where V is our voltage, I is the current flowing, and R is the resistance, right? So, using our values that we just calculated um, above, uh, we can find our current. But first of all, we need to actually transpose our formula to make I the subject. So, in trans transposing the formula, we'll simply divide both sides by R, divide by R, right? So, R's will cancel here and leave in um, I uh, as the subject. So, we can write I then is equal to V divided by R right so we know our voltage that's 12 volts and our total resistance which we just calculated on is 4.875 kilo ohms right so if we were to use our calculator 
we will find that I current flowing is equal to 12 divided by 4.875 which gives us an answer of 2.46 milliamps so 2.4 six milliamperes and the reason why it's milli is because um, we're dividing by kilo and again kilo is a uh, uh, 1000 or 10 to the 3 so uh, let me just plug that in the calculator and I'll show you so if we say uh, 12 divided by 4.875 times 10 to the 3 because it's kilo we get 0 0.00246 which is the same thing as 2.46 milliamps all right so that's our current flowing right and then finally so let, let's just make a note of that uh, that we've found part two right and now we can move on to part three which wants us to find um, the power dissipated so we say part three part three power dissipated in the circuit all right so to find electrical power we can use this formula that says um, p which stands for electrical power is equal to the voltage uh within the circuit times the current all right so we use the formula p is equal to vi where p is our power v is the voltage and i is the current flowing all right so we've just found um current and we have had the voltage from before so we'll just substitute the values in so our voltage was 12 volts, right, uh, from above, our voltage was 12 volts, so we'll say 12 volts multiplied by our current of 4, not 4, 2.46 milliamperes, and then when we use our calculator, so we'll say... 12 multiplied by 2.46 this is milli so we'll say minus 3 which is milli and then we get um, that we have a power dissipated of uh, 0 0.295 so 0 0.0295 so power is equal to 0 0.0295 and our unit is watts or we could uh, we could write this in standard form as 29.5 milliwatts of power all right so this is our power dissipated right so we have uh, solved part three right so again this is Junior Roberts coming to you with realgenerobberts.com. If there was anything in this video that you need more clarification on, please post it in below. Post it below in comments. Like this video if it was helpful. Share, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Thank you for watching.